Hi everyone! Um, in today's video I would like to show you what is possible with um, the software I was making a um, story yesterday and some of you might have seen my post um, about excitement about the box that I have received. Um, so I just want to show you a little bit more of insight of my um, ClickFunnels account and what it can do for you. So if I just go, so basically this is just how if I go to um, um, my funnels. So you can see I have acquired a few funnels already. Um, I'm paying the lower membership. So just to show you what is possible uh, and what I've recently created. It's basically, for instance, I set up a new business last week and I have created a rather than a creating a website, which might confuse people in terms of what to choose, etc. So I have created a brand new website based on ClickFunnels and just directed the domain to the ClickFunnels. So if I just show you this one. So, for example, um, you can create different funnels based on the needs or what you're promoting, what you would like to promote. You can um, promote physical products or services uh, and package it up. So for instance, you can create um, an, just like a home page, uh, which you would normally do in a normal page. I've used um, a template, which is a squeeze page or landing page, which uh, some people call it, which basically it's um, the purpose of it is to collect email addresses so you can send people um, who are interested in your business and new updates. So as you can see, it's, it is really simple to use. It's like base as drag and drop. Well, not dragging really, but um, you have three different um, pieces of information that you can put on a website. So you can see that there is like a green sort of pieces which are called sections. So you can see if I go down and I go to green, there is a like a green plus at the bottom. So that actually can allow me to add a new section. And it is as simple as clicking on it. Uh, you can choose how wide would it be. So basically, if you want a narrow thing on the to display on a PC or um, or I don't know an iPad or something, or you can you can create wide as normally. I go with wide or full width. So if I go with wide, you can see it's pretty much what I've used. And um, the next thing you would set up after the green things is actually add row. So rows are all the blue stuff. So you can set up if you want how many pieces you want in a row. So if you imagine a line on a website, um, you can have as many elements as possible. So if you're, for instance, uh, promoting some products um, that are, for instance, I don't know, um, you have three or four products to sell. So I would choose accordingly um, an image to put for each product. So I would, for instance, choose uh, the amount of columns would dictate uh, the amount of products would dictate how many columns you would have. So, for instance, if I go for three product, three columns, you can see I now have three columns in a row in a section. Then the orange ones are the elements. So, um, as you can see, in terms of elements, you have plenty of elements to add. Obviously, the, this template is for squeeze page only. So you have you could have a different element for like uh, a payment page or um, or an order page depending on what you are actually want to promote. So you can see I can add text, you can add paragraph, bullet list. Um, so I am in one of the rows. So if I want to have a heading before that, so if I just go back to it, you can see that I'm in the, um, this is adding elements in each pieces of the column. So if I want a co if I want in this section to be a heading above that, I would literally click another row and obviously I just want a heading, so that would be one piece. So I will choose one column. And then as you can see, the green, the blue has the arrows at the left corner, left top corner. So if I just click on top, it will move up. So in here, I will click add new element. I can add a headline and I can just say, this is a headline or whatever you want to call it like this is these these are the products that will change your life for instance 
and then here you can add so this is in terms of text media you can add an image of the product you can create it in some uh, free software for instance canva uh, you can add a video so if i show you how to how simple it is i will put video i will put an image and maybe i will put a i don't know audio player so if you if you're running a podcast you can probably put that uh, i don't really do podcasts so i let's say just two images so if there is an element added for the video you just click on it you can change basically so this is custom embedded so you can you can choose like i normally upload my videos to youtube so i can choose youtube and then you click here you're putting the youtube url uh, you can set up all different settings if it's going to play automatically if people can stop it or not you can put either branding or not if you choose different so youtube is obviously free you can use a free version which will display the youtube um, logo on it and sometimes it might play some some adverts and um, there is vimeo as well which probably lots of people would know uh, there's vistia which is quite expensive in my opinion but there is a possibility for it so in terms of um in terms of an image you basically click on the on the element and then as you can see image url obviously uh, to add images you just go on it upload click on that button and basically i already have lots of images in here you can upload from your computer and then once you upload so for instance if i go to upload you can see i have a lot of images here for instance then i click open it will add the image to my gallery and then I can just basically use it. So once it's selected, you just put add image and it's just automatically added to it and it's and so on and so forth. So the next thing I would do and um, to show you, so if I add a new row, let's say two columns, and then another element. So just to explain you some of the elements. I didn't really use the video pop-up, but you can use that as well. Sorry for the sounds. Um, you can add buttons. So for instance, rather than ask people to copy and paste a link or whatever, you can add a button, which is very popular in the uh, pages. So if you have a form, if you're collecting people's emails, you can then put the button underneath and um, basically ask them to click here to sign up so you can change the look of the button set action so for instance you can see that it will open a pop-up which pop-up you will set up different in a different place you can put the facebook opt-in you can submit an order submit form which is basically used to submit if people uh, leave their email address and data they will you would choose that option in order for them to submit their details you can also click like click here to learn more and then you can put a website to a, either uh, one of your websites or youtube or blog or whatever uh, go to a website or go to next step in the funnel so from that that will go to the next step in the funnel which i will show you in a minute so how to create a form and uh, so let's say if i will do in terms of one column and then if I add an element, there's another thing in here. Um, so you can see that there is forms and there's advanced forms. So SMS, uh, sign up, uh, shipping, survey, etc. You can do that. Um, you can also put an input. So this is what I would use for normal email setup. And if you click, this is a clone. So you can actually do that. And if you click on that element, you can actually say what people need to do basically so for instance you can put that as the first one is your email address but you can put your full name here you can input type so you have to select so you the writing is only to make it easier for people to know what they need to input obviously but you also need to type in to record so the software will recognize what data is being input so i would put full name and the next one would be for instance email address you don't need to ask for anything else if you for instance want to give them an ebook or something so for instance you will have email address but there's also phone address city uh, yada 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 shipping address um, custom type etc 
So if I select email address, the, it already says your email address here. So that's pretty much it. And then if I move that down, in order to get rid of that, you will actually have to create a new one. So if I just get rid of that quickly, and then I would do another row, one column, new element, a button, And you can obviously add the text here at the top, like if you want to have an ebook about, I don't know, your product, you can uh, get this form ready and then click to sign up or click to receive, click to um, uh, download or whatever, or get access, click here, click here to submit to receive your ebook. Um, you can create ebooks very easily in Word and then turn them into a PDFs, put them onto a Google Drive, and then you can do the shareable link in here. So you can put the shareable link in the email or you can click it actually uh, on the next page. So after that, that will go to the next step uh, in the funnel. And basically that's how you can send the new, um, send them the link to, the, to, the, to download the book. So... That would be that. Just delete that because that is just my recent new page. Okay. So basically, that would be that. Then, if I go back, so I don't have any changes here. No, that's fine. So always click save if you do any uh, building any funnel. Let's see. Sorry, just sitting in the garden enjoying the weather. So if I go back, so basically the next page that you, people would go, it's entirely up to you what you're gonna do and you can add new step here. You can create, um, so you can see basically that I have like a um, card page, I have a, a form page, I have created a different form. So if I show you quickly what form I have created to get more details, which I needed for the business. So this is the form I created. So you can see there is a new element, which is the head heading or sub, uh, subtitle. And I have created different forms to fill in. Click here to submit your details and arrange an appointment. After they're giving me their details, there is a payment form uh, which they need to pay and um, basically to be able to go to my calendar and book their appointment with me. So I hope that is um, helpful somewhat. I'm just going to quickly show you. Let me just check the time. Okay, I've got about a minute. I don't want to make this video too long because they take very long time to upload to Facebook. Um, name of a funnel. So you can um, new funnel step. Um, I will leave that blank. Um, click funnels will create this automatically. So each of these is called a page. So you've got, uh, I think, 100 pages available in your uh, membership, which is pretty good anyway. So you can see you can create an opt-in page, sales page, webinar, membership, clip-up, and there is different ones as well. You've got all sorts of templates so where you can just edit and um, change the um, your logo or the photo, etc. You can change the heading, you can change the writing, just literally edit, click on it. Uh, so that is really good, and you can delete the step if you don't like it. Um, just by clicking on the left, that's pretty much it. I can just show you quickly on my affiliate page what sort of training is available. So you can see there is all sorts of different uh, advantages. You can get the ebooks. Um, this is my new account, so um, 
I have been on ClickFunnels for quite a while now.